Ravi Madhu's cooking is all about inspiring everyone to cook delicious cuisines at home. Before proceeding further to watch this video, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. Don't forget to touch the bell button besides it so as to enable automatic notification of every new cooking video. Also like the video after watching it if you really like it. Click on description button below or if you are watching it on laptop, touch the show more button at bottom of description column to find the list of ingredients and detailed recipe text. Today we are making Gobhi Moose Alam that is whole cauliflower curry with thick gravy. Cauliflower is one of the most popular and widely consumed vegetables not only in India, but throughout the world, though it is available in markets and grocery shops throughout the year but it tastes best in winters, it is cooked using many different recipes to create many dishes, we are cooking whole cauliflower without separating its florets to create delicious party dish, which is called Moose Alam Gobhi, that is whole. Cauliflower, Moose Alam refers to anything that is complete or whole, we have already shown few more recipes to cook it, you may find the links below in description column or, you may click or touch the annotations which appear at the end of this video. This delicious whole cauliflower curry is served covered with thick gravy or masala and, it is not only very presentable but excellent to eat. You may serve it to your family members and guests accompanied with naan roti or parantha. To make this delicious dish put enough cooking water in a large pot over medium heat to boil. Add 1 half teaspoon salt into it. Now remove stem and covering leaves from a small size cauliflower. We are using one small size cauliflower which is sufficient to serve two persons. Also poke with a fork on hard base or remaining stem attached with it. Carefully drop cauliflower into boiling water. Blanch it while turning sides for 2 to 3 minutes. Drain cauliflower and leave aside in strainer kept over a bowl so as to drain salty water completely. Now break one or two fresh green chilies and add into jar of your mixer grinder. Adding green chilies is optional. Also add about 1 tablespoon fresh cilantro or green coriander, 1 half cup fresh dahi that is plain curd or yogurt, 1 fourth teaspoon or to taste salt, and 2 teaspoon ginger paste or ginger garlic paste into it. You may use coarsely chopped fresh ginger and garlic also if like too. Close the jar and grind. All together until smooth, it is marinade. Now place drained cauliflower in a large bowl and pour prepared marinade over it. Cover cauliflower completely with marinade on all sides by turning and pouring it into poked holes. Cover the bowl and leave aside to marinate for one hour. In the meanwhile when cauliflower is marinating let's prepare gravy. Peel and chop coarsely two medium or one large size onion into jar of your mixer grinder. Also cut and add three medium size fresh tomatoes one or two or to taste fresh green chilies into jar. Adding green chilies is optional and you may omit it if like to. Cover the jar and grind all together until well pureed. Put a wok over medium heat and pour pureed onion tomato mixture into it. Rinse jar with little water and pour into wok. Stir to mix and cook at medium heat while stirring occasionally until excess water evaporates. Now add two tablespoon cooking oil or ghee into wok. Stir to mix then push the masala mixture aside and reduce heat to medium low. Add 1 teaspoon cumin seeds into cooking oil or melted ghee and allow cumin to crackle then stir into onion tomato mixture. Cook and stir for 2 to 3 minutes or until grease is released from masala. Reduce heat to low. Season masala mixture with 1 half teaspoon haldi powder that is ground turmeric powder, 1 half teaspoon or to taste salt, 1 half teaspoon or to taste red chili powder and one and a half teaspoon tahania powder that is ground coriander seeds. Stir to mix and saute for a couple of minutes. Add little water into masala mixture so as to prevent spices from burning. Now add two tablespoon fresh dahi that is plain curd or yogurt into masala mixture. Stir to mix and increase heat to medium. Cook while stirring for two to three minutes or until grease is released again from masala. Now pour one cup water into wok amount of water depends on the desired consistency of gravy. Keep in mind that masala continues to thicken after cooking and every time you reheat it for serving. Stir to mix well and add more water if required. Reduce heat to medium low once it starts simmering. Simmer at medium low heat for 2 to 3 minutes. Now check and adjust the seasonings. Add whatever is required to your taste. 
gravy has also cooked well by now and grease is released and is floating at the surface, finally add 1 teaspoon crumbled kasari methi and 1 half teaspoon or to taste garam masala, stir to mix, turn off the heat and keep gravy aside covered until required. Drain cauliflower after 1 hour, drain well while turning sides so as to remove all of excessive marinade, heat enough cooking oil or ghee and wok over medium heat, carefully place drained marinated cauliflower into hot oil keeping poked hard side down, reduce heat to medium low and fry for 3 to 4 minutes while shifting cauliflower here and there slightly so that it does not stick to bottom of wok. Fry until bottom side of cauliflower is nicely golden brown then gently flip it onto other side, Fry this side for 2 to 3 minutes or until this side is also nicely golden browned. Carefully flip back and check if it has cooked well and tender now then drain completely and keep aside until required or until serving time. Heat gravy in wok over medium low heat to simmer just 10 minutes before serving time. You may add little more water and simmer to cook if it has thickened too much. Add 1 or 2 fresh green chilies which are slit into halves horizontally into gravy. Adding green chilies is optional again, place drained fried cauliflower in serving bowl or dish and, pour simmering hot gravy over fried whole cauliflower. Garnish with chopped fresh cilantro or green coriander, and churned malai or curd or fresh, dairy cream. Serve delicious gobhi mousse alum that is whole cauliflower curry accompanied with naan roti or parantha, enjoy. We hope that you have liked the recipe, please click the like button below and write your views in comments column for sure, also click or touch on our photo to subscribe if not done till now, thanks.